Hello, my name is Alejandro Hernandez. I'm a consultant in the Curriculum Frameworks and Instructional Resources Division at the California Department of Education. I'll be providing a brief overview of a resource we've developed to support the implementation of the ELA ELD framework. I'd like to show you where you can access the guide we'll be discussing today. You can see the URL on the screen. Once you're on this web page, click on the implement Implementation Support tab and then click on the link to the Guide to Resources with an English Learner Emphasis. This guide is intended to support California educators in the use of the resources throughout the ELA ELD framework that focus on meeting the needs of English learners. If you have access to this guide, you can see in the table of contents that there are brief discussions on the purpose of the guide, what is in the guide, and some recommended approaches for working with the guide. This guide is organized into four areas of focus as possible entry points into the ELA ELD framework. The recommended progression of the guide is from the first to the fourth areas of focus because understanding what the expectations are of English learners is foundational to exploring the three subsequent areas. However, the sequence could vary based on the level of individual expertise or the local program, school, or district priorities. So what are the four areas of focus? The first one is skills ELs must develop to achieve academic success. These resources can be used to explore the teaching and learning expectations of ELs in all content areas. The second one is suggested instructional practices for ELs. Educators can refer to these to appraise the suggested instructional strategies and practices in the ELA ELD framework in the context of content instruction with integrated ELD and in concert with designated ELD instruction. The third one is assessment of and for learning English and academic content. Here educators can review the assessment expectations of ELs and create an action plan to support the development of high leverage knowledge, skills, and abilities among ELs. And the fourth one is snapshots, vignettes, and lesson planning to support ELs in all disciplines. These allow for a closer examination of suggested instructional practices. The snapshots and vignettes can serve as starting points to develop lessons or instructional units. To help structure the study of the various components within the ELA ELD framework, each of the four areas of focus also includes the elements you see on the screen now. Let's take a look at each one. Here is one page showing the essential ELA ELD framework resources for the first area of focus. These essential resources help in developing a substantial understanding of the expectations of ELs. To make each resource easy to locate, you will notice that the chapter it appears in is identified. So are the page numbers and the title of the section and the names of any figure, snapshot, or vignette. This is a sample discussion based on the reading. You will see some suggested discussion protocols as well as suggested prompts that provide opportunities to have deeper, more focused, or more comprehensive discussions. Each set of prompts is aligned to the contents in each of the four areas of focus. The same holds true for the reflection and discussion questions. In this example, participants are encouraged to arrive at some agreements on the topic of integrated and designated ELD. For each area of focus, the corresponding activities to facilitate implementation can be modified to align with the program, school, or district priorities and the experience of the participants in the audience. In this document, some activities guide participants to prioritize which strategies to implement. Others guide participants to continue using practices with a proven positive impact on EL success. To retire practices that may no longer be aligned to standards, for instance. And to start using evidence-based or promising practices. And still others encourage participants to select a priority practice to implement. Write a measurable goal. Consider what instructional modifications and support best promote the success of that goal. Then periodically reflect on the growth students have made toward achieving the goal. I hope this brief overview has provided you with a sense of the design and intent of this guide. 
Of course, the activities and tools in each section are appropriate for professional development, grade level team, and professional learning community work. You may recognize this graphic as a portion of the circles of implementation. You now know you can access the guide that focuses on English learners. Well, you can also access a guide for each of the five key themes in the ELA ELD framework. All of these guides provide ideas for accessing the framework in a focused manner, and we hope you find these ideas useful. At the same time, the guides are available as Word documents so that you can easily download and modify them to fit your purpose or your style. Here again is the URL where you can access this guide, as well as the guides for each of the five key themes. In our office, we will continue to develop and refine resources that can be used in professional learning opportunities to go deeper into the framework. I would like to encourage you to ask questions and share your feedback. You can submit your questions and feedback by emailing me at ahernandez at cde.ca.gov. Thank you.